base is probably, so I guess the most fundamental concepts in mathematics are number and space. So one can think about, for example, a line being either composed as kind of as number or as a continuous entity. Um, and space becomes this enormous concept. Like I think that you can say probably accurately that mathematics has spent a long time kind of coming to grips with what space really means. So sp space is somewhere, some, some, somewhere where something happens, but what exactly that means, for example, your brain or the internet or, you know, a map of the metro is also a space. For example, on the internet, you, you have a question, you know, and how many links can I get from one website to another? And so there you have a very natural notion of distance. On the, um, and this distance is very important. For example, in Google PageRank, this is precisely how it all functions. Um, and this is an incredibly complicated space, but you know, trying to understand this space in some way is very powerful. Yeah. For example, if I give you two spaces, it might be very difficult to decide whether they're the same or not. For example, we live in the universe, but we don't actually know what space we live in. If you're an ant and you live on the surface of a sphere or you live on the surface of a donut, it might be very hard to tell. Uh, and so that basically understand, for example, the question of in which space am I currently, this is a very, very interesting mathematical problem. Uh, and we have many, many ways of tackling them. And, but there's basically, like everything in maths, our understanding is very limited. Mm -hmm.